Lyme disease is an infection that's transmitted by ticks, and ticks are getting ready to come out now that it's uh, early spring and summer. Over 300,000 new cases of Lyme disease are estimated to occur every year in the United States. That makes Lyme disease the most frequent tick-borne infection in North America. The ticks that transmit Lyme disease, the deer ticks, are very small and they're very difficult to see. They're about the size of a pinhead when they come out in late spring and early summer. My name is Dr. John Ockott. I'm an assistant professor of medicine at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and director of the Lyme Disease Research Center in the Division of Rheumatology. I'm here today to talk about the five tips that you can take home and remember on how to prevent tick bites and getting Lyme disease. The first tip is create a tick-free zone around your house. The first principle in creating a tick-free zone is to have an inner area um, that is uh, well manicured. Lawns that are well mown and grass that is well uh, sheared will keep uh, the tick habitat away from your home. We want to separate this uh, tick-free habitat from the woods with a barrier, and often what is used is called a tick barrier, which is a several foot wide uh, strip of wood chips or, or bark that separates your well manicured yard and lawn from the brush and, and taller grasses that may be around the perimeter of your yard. Ticks um, get Lyme disease from mice, and so we also want to eliminate the mouse habitats around your yard. This would include eliminating wood piles and rock piles where the mice tend to live and breed. Gardeners may also want to try to keep deer out of their tick-free zone. This can be accomplished with an eight-foot deer fence, and these can be installed by professionals or by yourself. Tip number two, enjoy the outdoors safely. When you're hiking, stay on the paths and stay in the middle of the paths away from the high grass and brush that may be on the edges of your hiking trail. Avoid going into the tall grass and brush when you're hiking because that's where the ticks are. It's safe to go to um, sports and athletic fields with well-groomed grass. Just stay out of the brush and tall grass at the edges of the fields. Tip number three, protect yourself, your children, and your pets by wearing protective clothing treated with tick pesticides and treating your skin with agents such as DEET. These lightweight pants are good for uh, hiking and uh, uh, being long pants, they prevent ticks from getting on your skin. Long shirts are also important, again, for the same reasons that they prevent ticks from getting on you. Permethrin is a commonly used tick pesticide that's applied to clothing, not to your skin. Permethrin is a, um, a unique uh, chemical because it does not need to be reapplied frequently. It actually stays bound to the material of your clothing and needs only be, uh, to be reapplied um, every several months. In addition to treating your clothing with permethrin, you can also use different products on your skin to repel ticks. DEET is a commonly used uh, tick repellent that can be applied to the skin safely in uh, adults and children. The uh, DEET must be applied every two to three hours in warm weather. DEET is easy to apply just by spraying onto the exposed surface of the skin and allowing it to dry in place. When you're done enjoying the out of doors, it, it's good uh, protective uh, habit to uh, shower immediately. This may wash off ticks that have uh, gotten onto you and to wash and dry your clothes immediately. It's also important to protect your, your pets from Lyme disease. It's important to consult with your veterinarian about approved products for tick repellents for your pets as well. It's very important to use protective measures for your children as well. Um, any kind of uh, pesticides or repellents should be used with caution and it's important to um, discuss the use of these with your pediatrician before using them. Tip number four, perform tick checks after coming in from the out of doors and showering. The most important thing is to get ticks off of you before they attach and after becoming attached to have the chance to uh, transmit Lyme disease. Tick checks are performed two ways. One is by feeling for ticks because the ticks are very small and sometimes aren't seen. By feeling for ticks, you can actually um, discover ticks that may be in hidden areas such as behind your knee or in the axilla where you wouldn't be able to easily see them. Tick inspection should be done as well, looking for the very small um, pinpoint sized uh, dark specks that uh, are the nymph stage ticks um, uh, present at this time of the year. 
Especially important areas to check for ticks include behind the knees, under the armpits, in the scalp, and especially in children where ticks tend to um, be in the scalp, along the waistline and in areas of the back where you may need help from somebody to look on your back for ticks. Tip number five, remove ticks once found immediately by grasping them with a tweezer and pulling them off of the skin. The quickest way to remove the tick is with a tweezer to grasp the tick between the head of the tick and the skin and to pull firmly but gently away. Sometimes this will leave behind small black mouth parts of the tick in the skin. This is not to worry. These small mouth parts do not transmit Lyme disease and should be left alone. Never try to dig out the mouth parts of the tick with a, any type of needle or blade. Just leave them in place and they will work their way out on their own. The most important point is to remove the tick quickly. Removing a tick in the first 24 hours dramatically reduces the risk of Lyme disease and is your best protection in preventing yourself from getting Lyme disease. In conclusion, using these five tips to prevent Lyme disease can help you enjoy the out-of-doors safely, help you to avoid tick bites, and help you to avoid getting Lyme disease.